And hey, good morning. It's uh, 6.46 on your Monday, third day of December. Good morning. Those of you joining us on Spreaker Web Radio, and those joining us on social media, or on Spreecast for Social Media Prayer Time, this is Anna. I'm Teresa Croft of the Kingdom Messenger Network.com. And we say good morning to those of you joining us live. Always uh, exciting to be able to praise God together, to lift Him up, to decree and declare with you. Uh, Anna, do you want to open up with good news and where are we, where are we going this morning? Psalm 3. Yeah, speak louder. But you, O Lord, are a shield for me, my glory, and the one who lifts mm. up my head. I cry to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy hill. Mm. I lay down and slept. I woke, for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for you have struck all my enemies on the cheekbone. You have broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongs to the Lord. Mm. Your blessing is upon your people. Hallelujah. Oh, Father God, we come into your presence and we we enter your presence with praise and thanksgiving and we thank you for your word, Lord, that we can decree and declare of who you are. I thank you, Lord, that you're our shield and our glory. I thank you that you're our lifter of our head, Father God. I thank you, Father, that we can cry out to you and you hear us evening, morning, and noon, Father. I give you praise and thanksgiving, Father, that as we lift you up, you draw all men to yourself, Lord. And I pray you would draw us into that place where we hear your voice. Wow. That you would, we just not only hear your voice, but we would, out of the depths of our heart, would come the praise and the thanksgiving to you, Father. That we'd rise and shine and give you the glory. Father God, I thank you that uh, salvation belongs to you. I thank you that we can de decree and declare the kingdom of God. I thank you for the name of Jesus Christ. Above all, there is no other. The name by which one may be saved. I thank you, Father, for Emmanuel, God with us. Father, we thank you that you're El Shaddai, the all-sufficient one. We thank you that you're Jehovah Jireh, a God who sees a need and you provide. Jehovah Rapha, a God who heals. So, Father, we thank you and proclaim your name. We, we thank you for who we are in Christ, that you've transferred us from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. That greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. That you, Father, call us forth to repent and come near you to forsake the pride of life the lust of the flesh to forsake those things that would just drag us down and pursue you to forget those things that lie behind and reach forward to the upper call of the prize of the prize of Jesus Christ that I may know you as it says in Philippians 3 that I may know you and even the power of your suffering, that Jesus learned obedience by the things he suffered. So we rejoice, though, that Jesus is a victorious King of kings and Lord of lords, that we can enter that presence by the finished work of the cross, and we can allow you, Father, to so fill us with the Holy Spirit that we would speak your words, that we not just preach salvation, the kingdom of God is at hand. That we not just pray for healing, but we would lay hands and believe that you are healing and that you will heal. Save, deliver, sanctify. So we set apart ourselves just by praise and thanksgiving this morning. Calling out to you. Thanking you for salvation. Thanking you for relationship. Thanking you for hiding us under the shadow of your wing. For being your ear being attentive to our cry. That we can bless you and say, bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Who heals all your diseases, who forgives all your sins, who pardons all your iniquities. Who redeems your life from the pit. Who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies who satisfies your years with good things 
so that your youth is renewed like an eagle. What a great time to walk into the fullness of who we are in Christ Jesus, to walk in the fullness of the presence of the Holy Spirit and the ability of Christ in me to reach out and pray and believe for healing, to reach out and cleanse the leper, to be able to reach out and be Jesus with skin on, be the, bring the kingdom of God wherever we go. Father, we want to lift up lots of prayer requests this morning. I want to lift up some of our family members that have really uh, been struggling. I want to pray for Jean and the girls. And thank you, Father, for Anna being able to bring the kingdom of God into that house. Father, we, we, we pray that you help Jean, Lord, as she we believe now, if we've laid hands, we believe that you're going to bring that healing power. We thank you, Father, that you would bring that family into the order of healing and health and wholeness in the name of Jesus. And we lift up Jean, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lord, we pray for our neighbors, Blanche and Michelle, who both are going to the hospital early in the morning. We just want to thank you, Lord, that they come knocking on the door asking for encouragement and wisdom and words from the word. Lord, I thank you that, that they've asked us to be there and that we will bring Jesus with them. Thank you, Father, that they, they want, they want some, someone who knows the word there. So thank you for that, Lord. I just thank you in advance for doing such wonders in the midst of their doctor reports. That they'll just still stand amazed and say, wow, what, what's being said over there is true. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is a healing God. Jesus can take my nerves away, my stress away. Thank you, Father. Lord, we pray for, um, there's an emergency prayer request uh, for a woman by the name of Glenda Lomax. She's with uh, Wings of Prophecy and uh, she has a prayer request. The ambulance came and she was having bleeding in the brain, but the woman was not speaking bleeding in the brain. She was just saying, that's what the doctor said, but I'll join you in prayer in, on my radio show or whatever real soon. So we join our faith with hers, and we thank you. Even now you're raising her up out of that hospital bed and bringing a testimony to that whole ICU unit and the next unit they put her in, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for that healing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. We pray for the McCryant family, another widow and children left without a husband and daughter. So we lift that situation up to you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you for the prayers that come in. Uh, some Facebook prayers. Someone... Two different people having problems with their stomach, stomach issues. We pray and thank you for healing them, Lord, for all order. Someone else um, had a uh, Isaac who was going in front of his youth group to preaching and asked that you would be uh, anoint him and that his words would be your words, Father God. We thank you for those that were standing in the gap for healing with that. Uh, and believing that you're even now bringing a healing touch to Carol, Garlo, for Vinny, for Carly, for Dave, for William and Denise. Thank you, Father God, for recreating. There's a number of people who want to believe for healing and deliverance. We pray for Nicole and her daughter, Anna, asking us to till, still pray for your perfect will <clears throat> in reuniting. And this family for major deliverance. Thank you for faith that Nicole continues to reach forward to you, Father, believing and taking hold of your promises. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. Continue to pray for healing and, tr and for trip. It's having what's called brainstorming, Lord. We pray that you continue to bring order right now, Father, and as they reconstruct parts of his brain and his skull, Lord, that we believe now, even now, you're doing a mighty work. We pray for protection. We, uh, we're asked to pray for some Nigeria churches. We pray for our brothers and sisters overseas that are taking care of the orphans and the widows and the street kids. 
and the least of these. Father, we stand in the gap. We pray for this time of the year that you would give great wealth and kingdom wealth to those ministries that truly serve the needs of these people. Lord, we pray for protection from missionaries overseas, Lord, that are doing your will and serving you. Thank you, Father. We just bless you and praise you today, Father God, and thank you that we can cry out and believe, Father, that you'll anoint us for the works that we are called to. So, Father, I pray everyone listening, whether live or recorded, Lord, I thank you for the power of the risen Lord that's in them to be the kingdom of God, not just to preach and, and speak the word. Yes, words are powerful, but to speak the very words of decreeing and declaring of healing, salvation, cleansing the lepers, bringing deliverance, laying on hands, or just bringing the very uh, presence of the living God that's alive in them and changing the atmosphere as they reach out and touch the kingdom of heaven, bring the very kingdom of God. Thank you, Father, as we rise up and decree and declare this is our cry, to see more of you, Lord, and to be vessels of honor, that the surpassing greatness of the power may be of you, O oh God, and not ourselves. As we end with just a, a cry of prayer, Father, a cry from a song, I thank you that we can worship you even as the song plays, and we do so humbly. Oh, well, I think I just cut him off. What just happened? I think I, I just... Click on. Whoops, let's see if I can come back. So, Father God, we, we, we do so humbly. We, we, we lift up this song of praise, oh God. In the name of Jesus, as we lift up prayer and praise and thanksgiving with this song, in the name of Jesus.
thank you so much for joining us. Join us tomorrow morning, 645. May the blessing of Jesus go with you today. And thank you for praying. God bless you. And those of you joining us on Spreaker, God bless you so much. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, sometime today, we'll announce it. We'll have got Firebrand Dave Web Radio coming your way. Uh, a special word about the prophetic clock that is ticking. You don't want to miss it. Uh, stay tuned for more information. Check it out at facebook.com forward slash Firebrand Dave. God bless you. Have a great day. And may the presence of Jesus go with you.